Armstrong and Aldrin are scheduled to set foot on the moon. That just felt like a, a pitch change rather than an acceleration increase. This is CBS News color coverage of Man on the Moon. Sponsored by Kellogg's. Kellogg's puts more in your morning. Here from CBS News Apollo headquarters at Kennedy Space Center, correspondent Walter Cronkite. Good morning. It's T minus one hour, 29 minutes, and 53 seconds and counting in just an hour and a half. If all goes well, Apollo 11 astronauts Armstrong, Aldrin, and Collins are to lift off from pad 39A out there on the voyage man always has dreamed about. Next stop for them, the moon. So it is now that there is time, uh, if only briefly in this busy morning, to think of those three men and the burdens and the hopes that they carry on behalf of all mankind. Here's Jack King and launch control. We're approaching the 60-second mark on the Apollo 11 mission. T-minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Oh, boy. Oh boy, it looks good, Wally. Somebody must be leaving the job. Building's shaking. We're getting that buffeting we've become used to. What a moment. Man on the way to the moon. Good evening, my fellow Americans. Fates has ordained that the men who went to the moon to explore in peace will stay on the moon to rest in peace. These brave men, Neil Armstrong and Edwin Aldrin, know that there is no hope for their recovery. But they also know that there is hope for mankind in their sacrifice. These two men are laying down their lives in mankind's most noble goal to search for truth and understanding. 
They will be mourned by their families and friends. They will be mourned by their nation. They will be mourned by the people of the world. They will be mourned by a mother earth that dared send two of her sons into the unknown. In their exploration, they stirred the people of the world to feel as one. In their sacrifice, they bind more tightly the brotherhood of man. In ancient days, men looked at stars and saw their heroes in the constellations. In modern times, we do much the same, but our heroes are epic men of flesh and blood. Others will follow and surely find their way home. Man's search will not be denied. But these men were the first, and they will remain the foremost in our hearts. For every human being who looks up at the moon in the nights to come will know that there is some corner of another world that is forever mankind. Good night. Right here, uh, Columbia Eagle, uh, have you about maneuvered there yet? 